Uh, my name is Jack Tuttle, and I'm a quarterback at Indiana University. Um, very glad to be here tonight. Thank you to uh, FCA for having me again. First off, I just want to EJ and Diana. That's amazing that you guys come up here and just share with everyone out here. You guys are absolutely brilliant. Uh, let's give them another round of applause real quick. Great job. Um, so just to start out, um, since a pretty young age, uh, I've always had an idea who God was, but I really didn't fully understand him. And this was the case until about my eighth grade year. Uh, I'd started attending Grace Lutheran School, eager to learn more about God and the Bible. Spiritually, this was one of the best things I had ever done. Um, throughout that year, I took confirmation classes, created fellowship, and found God's love. Um, after experiencing this, I realized then that I needed and wanted um, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in my life. I decided to get baptized and confirm my love for him later that year. And after that, throughout my high school career, my love for Jesus continued to grow even more. I eventually became one of the leaders at my FCA group um, while continuing to go back to my youth group at Grace Lutheran. I feel like, I've, well, I felt like through all four years of high school, I was in touch with the Lord, and it was some of the best times of my life. Little did I know that a year from then was going to test my faith beyond measure. I had entered college at Utah hopeful and optimistic. I had just assumed, because things were great in high school, that they would be the same way in college. But over the first couple months of my college career, I was faced with a tremendous amount of adversity. A lot of it was out of my control, which meant I couldn't do anything to stop it or be better in that situation. It was extremely unfortunate, and these uncontrollable events caused an immense amount of pain in my life. I never had to deal with this much sadness, and I didn't know how to handle it. My friends and family had always seen me as this positive, God-loving man, and I was too afraid of them seeing me any different. Because of this, I shut all my loved ones out, and I felt completely lost. As time went on, I stopped reading my Bible, neglected God, and made a poor decision on getting into a bad relationship. I completely punted my faith and decided to do me because I didn't trust God's plan. As I continued growing further away from God, stress and anxiety presented themselves more and more in my life. Over time, it got to the point where my loved ones noticed a huge change in my attitude and my personality. At my lowest, I contemplated whether to even play football anymore. So eventually, my loved ones and I decided it was in our best interest for me to transfer to a different school no matter what I did. So after a discussion with my family, uh, I decided to transfer to IU, continue playing football. Go Hoosiers, baby. <laughs> However, over the course of my first semester, my relationship with God was still put on the back burner, and I was not happy. I couldn't let things go that happened to me in the past, and I fought daily with residual anxiety. I was struggling to rise above this dejection, but in that moment, I should have taken this verse to my heart. The Lord says in Proverbs 3, 5, verse 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. I acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. I should, have, I should have done this because in the summer of 2019, I was fortunate enough to come to know a pastor named John Powell, right over here, in the Indiana jacket. We had several talks over time, and he'd, help, he'd helped me open myself back up to God. And he'd helped me realize a couple of things I'm about to share to you. God allows certain things to happen to us so we may help others and grow as a person. By no means is my situation as impactful as Jesus's, but the Bible says in John 3:16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish and have eternal life. He allowed this to happen so that we could be with him in heaven forever. Just like he might allow unfortunate situations in one of our lives, if it may benefit others in need. The second thing is, God loves us more than anything and he has a plan for us. There's no reason to be stressed and anxious. Everything that troubles us, we can give to him no matter how large. For the Bible says in Philippians 4, 6, and 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which trans transcends all understanding, 
will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Understanding these things has allowed me to release any past anger and unhitch the trailer, so to speak. Furthermore, it has helped me not, not only to rebuild my faith, but make it stronger than ever before. I'm so blessed that God put John in my life, and I'm so thankful for his guidance. Thank you, Big John. My faith and love for God today has helped me become, has helped me be steadfast through any adversity and be confident no matter what situation I am, I'm in. I know who I am. I'm a child of God. No matter if I'm playing in a football game on the biggest stage or if I'm just walking to class, I know who I am. I'm thankful to have gone through this adversity because it has only, helped, it has only built me more as a person and now I can help others in need and ha that have been in my position. Therefore, I encourage all of you not to worry, stress, be anxious, lose trust in God, or doubt yourself, because we are all his children, and he has a plan for all of us. The Holy Spirit is within us and gives us strength. Don't ever forget that. I'd like to close with a couple of verses. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. And Philippians 4.13, which says, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Just remember that. Before I leave, I just want to thank FCA again for letting me uh, talk to you guys and share my testimony. Keep fighting the good fight. Trust in the Lord, no matter what situation you're in. And love each other. Love each other. Elio, thank you for listening. <laughs>